Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, so I'm gonna be sitting in my car talking to my phone while people drive by and think I'm freaking crazy. That's all right. Um, actually kind of in a good mood. I started out as being in a bad mood today because, um, and you'll have to forgive me, I have the window open so I don't make it too foggy in my car. I have it off right now. But anyway, um, okay, so um, I've refilled one of my prescriptions last I guess on a Friday, not last week, but the weekend before that. So I guess two weeks ago, Friday. Um, and then I ended up getting sick. My daughter graciously gave me her flu. So I had like three or four days there where I just, I didn't even want to get out of bed. I was like, oh, I'm dying. Um, anyway, but I... I guess my prescription for one of my for my refill of um, I take Zoloft now uh, to help with my depression issues at home um, so far it's I don't know I don't notice any difference so I went to see my doctor today but anyway we'll get to that um, so uh, I guess it's some and I did I, I felt well enough my daughter felt well enough to check the mail on Thursday that last week and there was no package in there so sometime between Monday when my mail had said it came in but my see my husband had signed us up for um, our mailman will take pictures of our packages you know and I guess he either a didn't tell me that it you know came or B it never you know he never got an email I'm assuming he got an email my husband isn't really known for communicating with me too terribly much I'm I'm a little bit low on the totem pole of importance I guess but um, I don't know part of me's like well I hope you know I, I'm hoping that I don't know I, I don't want to be too critical but a part of me is like why didn't you tell me or why didn't you go get the mail when you knew a package was coming because in my initial email when it said hey we shipped your thing it said that it would be there between the 7th and the 13th so um, the last time they had mailed me something it took them a week a little over a week to ship it so I wasn't expecting it to be there in three days so but I don't know but so anyway then I call my insurance people this morning and they're like oh just go down to CVS you know because I my mail in CVS does not talk to the brick and mortar CVS at um, uh, the CVS that I go to is at Target so that CVS does not communicate I mean they don't share the same account stuff as the CVS where I mail in and uh, their headquarters is in Arizona so they don't talk to each other so when I called the mail-in people who have all of my prescriptions they're like oh yeah just go down to the CVS down there and um, have them push it and it'll get declined and then from there I can you know accept it so I'm like, okay, but when's if they tell me that, that they can't do it? And they're like, oh, they'll know what to do. So I'm like, okay, you know. I mean, the guy, at the, the mail-in service guy was a really polite man. Um, I already forgot what, they, what he said his name was. Um, shoot, you know, I, and I just had it in my head earlier, but I, I can't remember anymore. Um, anyway. Um, he was being, you know, he was very polite. He was very informative. So then I get down to the Target CVS and they're like, you have no refills. I'm like, I know that. It was my last refill. It was a, it's a trial period to see if this stuff works, you know. And they're like, well, since there's no refills, you'll have to talk to your doctor. So I'm like, oh my God, this roundabout, round, going room circles thing is really annoying. But anyway, um, so then I call my um, doctor and the nurse is like hey she has an opening today at 2 I'm like hey that is perfect so I got in to see her at 2 and she's like have you noticed any difference with your medicine I'm like no um, not really so she upped my dose on the same it's it's a generic for Zoloft I, I can't remember what it was called send something or other 
anyway so I'm a higher milligrams uh, of that now see if that works better for me um, but yeah I guess it ended up being all right she's like oh you're smiling today that's always good and I'm like yeah I'm at you know I'm, I'm glad that you know this all this stuff worked out for me and uh, you know but I don't know so then I go back to Target and they refill my they fill my new prescription and I have to go back in another month to see you know get evaluated see if this stuff works or if she's gonna try something else on me uh, because it took a lot of courage for me to actually say to my health care provider I need help I can't do this anymore I, you know I, I can't I thought I could live with the negativity and everything in my life but it it was extremely hard I thought she would judge me and she didn't so you know as somebody if somebody else is in the same position as me and um, you know at their home life isn't quite perfect and things aren't quite working out as perfect as you know or you find yourself you know getting angry um, for me it was I, I was self-harming more than um, what I had you know and just not being able to handle my stress well well um, so uh, I really do encourage you to talk to your health care provider if you see one every month year I see one every year because I was on I'm on of uh, birth control pills for hormone regulation for perimenopause so uh oh <laughs> I got a kid home so anyway she doesn't like being seen so I'm gonna actually end right here um, so yeah okay all right bye